hello guys it's vivian here so um i want to show us how to make a simple pinolin fascinator of course there are different materials you could use to make your fascinator you could use crinoline like what i have here you could use cinnamon felt straw mat even ankara okay so we'll be doing a simple fascinator using a crinoline ash color crinoline so right here i have my crinoline which is the base raw material i have my alice band I have my gum just in case they think the light. <laughs> I have my hot gun, it's still light for now. I have my rose my roses, and of course, because I'm doing an ash colored crinoline fascinator, I have an ash colored tray, and then I have my stay, okay, my scissors, and my needle. So you could do different styles using your crinoline, but we'll do a basic fascinator now, okay? Just something very basic that you could just try at home. So I'll go ahead and cut. Just watch. I want to do something small, like this size. So the first thing you do after cutting it to the size that you want, of course you could take a measurement, but I already know this is the size I want. You have to, the edges, you have to hold them together so they don't pull out, okay? And then of course you use the color of the crinoline, the color of thread, as in color of thread is the same thing as the crinoline you're making to fasten the edges. So I'll just do that right away. I like making it so tight so it doesn't pull out okay so we'll just go ahead and try it now cut it off if you want depending on how long this part is you can still trim off some parts okay so it's shorter now so i'll do the same thing on the other side Trim off again. So we have this, okay? Whatever you want to do with this, you have to be creative, okay? I could decide to do this like this, do this like this. What is this one for now? You can bend this. And get something like this. Okay. 
the way you want to do it. It's if, um, of course, it comes in different sizes. Okay, you could use a smaller size and make it into this shape so that you have two of this and you attach it to a bigger one, or you could use your needle and thread to form a base, like I'm about to do. Of course, you'll still fasten your needle and thread here. I'll just fasten, okay? Fasten the edge first with my needle and thread. Can you see what I'm doing? I pass it this way. Okay. Then I'll do a running stitch across. See? From the beginning till I get to the end. I'm sure you know what a running stitch is. Like it's not your basic stitching. You're just jumping. <laughs> the way some of you jump into confusion. <laughs> okay. Um, I'll go ahead. I've gotten to the end. Can you see what it's doing? It's actually flexible, you see. Can you see what it's forming? Mm -hmm. As I tighten it, it becomes smaller. See? Can you see? See what it has given me. If I loosen it a bit. To be like this hmm? okay depending on what the design I have in mind or oh, I might just be playing around to create something but well let's do this you can twerk the edges the way you want but whatever you're twerking make sure it doesn't become visible at the end of the day make sure it's neat okay so can you see what I'm doing? I'm trying to see how I can join the edges together and still cover them up. Can you see? Okay, let me face it this way so you can see what. Can you see how I'm turning it? So I'll just pass my needle and thread right through this place so that I can fasten the two edges together. Make sure your stitches are as neat as you, as neat as possible. Hide as much as you can. Um, I think I would prefer this side to be the front. Okay. Now I will put my words. See, I could put just one rose, depending on how simple or loud I want it to be. I put one rose be like this it puts the two roses to come out this way so let me just put it two. so 
So when you attach it this way, you fasten it. Pass your needle and thread Make sure it is tight enough. You don't want to wear something that will fall off. <laughs> so tighten it as much as you can. Okay. That's exactly what I'm doing. as much as you can hide okay. so the next thing I want to do is to attach my band this band it's called Alice band um let's see I want it this way I love using needle and thread to stitch, to attach my band to my fascinator base because it's long lasting that way. Of course, when you buy all these mass productions in the market, or um, if you buy some fascinators, even if they are no mass production fascinators, you find out that they just use gum to attach their Alice band to the base of their fascinator. Why? It's faster. Well, of course, it won't last, okay? Well, it depends on what one wants. I prefer using... I don't want something that one would wear tomorrow and then it's... The next day, it's no more wearable because something pulled out. Probably the band or the accessory. You see? The more reason why you need to get these stuffs from v Minds because you're sure of what you're getting. You're sure of durability and all. So I've attached this. We'll fasten it and then tie. I already fastened it, so let me just do this normal tying so that to further make it tight. Then I'll just cut. Can you see? So the next thing is just to cover up this place. Cover up this place. Let me use my hot comb. I have to plug it in. I should have plugged it in before now though. I have to reuse the normal comb. It's going to be hot right away. Okay, so once you attach this to cover up this place, 
Viola powder fascinator will be ready. So this is just a basic simple crinoline fascinator. I hope you enjoyed watching. Like, share, recommend, refer. So I'll just attach that now. Let's do that. This is my hot gun. I've attached it. See, I'll fascinate. You see, see, let me wear it. <laughs> Someone is looking like a little bright. No, a little bright. <laughs> Can you see? Someone is all glammed up. <laughs> Thank you. I hope you learned something. You can actually try this at home. Mm -hmm. Bye.